Hey guys, uh, today we're working on a gas, a train gas furnace up in an attic. You can see here, this is for a uh, subdivision clubhouse over here in uh, Marietta, Georgia. Um, we just started the contract, so I'm going to have to change the filter out, do some cleaning on the flame sensor and the burners and whatnot, all that fun stuff. But I want you to see something here. I'm going to have to make a recommendation. They have, there's the gas cock for the furnace. They got a flex going into um, the gas valve here, which is against code. The furnace is sitting so low to the ground, I can see why they weren't able to put actual half-inch gas line in there. That's pretty tough. So I'm going to have to recommend to lift this furnace up a little bit so we can run some half-inch um hard pipe inside the furnace cabinet and then tie it back in with some flex with the flex connector um just kinda give me a little rundown here um, once I'm done with the cleaning I'm gonna have to strap back a capacitor it looks like the run cap bandit hit this place over here they just have this thing over here just hanging which is nice and of course you know they decided to go ahead and put some tape all around the terminal so that'll make it nice and safe right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strap it to the blower housing, get that mounted up nice and properly, um, and start checking my gas pressure, and I'm going to go ahead and do a combustion test with my new Testo 310 I just purchased yesterday from Johnstone. So uh, I'll go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and fired up, and we'll see what the test looks like and see if we need to make any adjustments. Alrighty guys. Alright guys. Right now, first we're running for about 20 minutes. Our, it's kind of hard to tell there, but our stack temperature is about 398, 397, which is a little high, but it's good. It's probably because this duck works a little undersized. Heat exchange is a little hotter than normal, I would imagine. Um, I already have it on medium high speed on heat. Um, our CL is about 3 ppm, which is good, clean. Uh, let's see. Our ambient CO, I checked it, was about zero. Undiluted, we're about five or six, which is good. Anything under 100 is good. Um, our O2 oxygen is about 9.4%, uh, which is okay. I'm okay with that. And then down at the bottom here, running about 80% combustion efficiency. And we're, we're moving, uh, let's see here. Our CO2 is about 6.45% which is good, it's in within range. And we're about 3.3 inches on the, on the manifold. I might need to adjust it just a little bit. And um, I just don't wanna get that stack temperature too high. But uh, yeah, that's what we got going on, guys. Alrighty.